There's something telling me jump. 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 There's something I got a couple of mnemonics in there. I got some interesting stuff to make it, you know, worth it for y'all. So first, we're going to start with none other than F1. This is your first but really your last function, meaning that this button is what you use to find online help. By the time you even want to press F1, though, you should troubleshoot on your own, see what's going on with whatever the error or issue is that you're having with FL Studio. That's why it's your first but really your last help. F2. This button is a shortcut for naming and renaming whatever sample, mixer, track, or pattern that you have selected. In my case, I have one of my 808 tracks playing. So let's say, for example, for this, I, I you see how it says 808 number 8? If I wanted to just make that cool 808, I'd press F2 and then change it right there. Cool 808. Boom. Next, we're going to hit F3. F3 is a quick menu. You see how right there, when I clicked, it popped up with this extra menu. You can also find the menu over here. But my personal favorite way to do it is by holding down the scroll button on the mouse, right? Then you left click see you can also right click but yeah this way to me is much faster i could be anywhere in the playlist click this switch between different snapping increments scroll over here click again edit shift to the left shift to the right it's just great for moving on the fly next we're going to hit f4 f4 is similar to f two but f4 creates a new pattern so not only does it give you a chance to name a pattern with f4 it's brand spanking new if you have trouble remembering the difference between f2 and f4 remember that f4 is pattern button and pattern button has four t's f4 turn dot boom for five six and seven I have an acronym for you. It's kind of controversial, but PCP. No, we're not talking about drugs. We're talking about the playlist, the channel rack, and the piano roll. So let's hit F5. Boom. That's the toggle for the playlist. F6, the channel rack. Uh, it used to be called the step sequencer, but I believe as of FL, I think it was around like, the, like the jump between uh, 10 to 20. I believe that's around the time when they stopped calling it a step sequencer and defaulted to channel rack. That's the toggle for that. And F7 is a toggle for the piano roll. So let's go back to my cool 808 pattern. And I'm going to press the final P in PCP, F8, uh, sorry, F7. Boom. Now we can see all the notes. Boom. Next, we're going to hit F8. F8 is for all plugins. When you see that 8, I want you to think infinity because it shows your infinite library of plugins. At least in my case, it's a lot of plugins. So F8. F9. This is going to be your mixer toggle. 9 and 6 are siblings. I want you to imagine 6 and PCP as the wild, younger, rebellious uh, sibling. F9 is the reliable one. F9 is your mixer toggle. Your mixer is key, especially when you're dealing with big projects like I am. You have to organize everything, such as the leads. They have to be routed to buses. Backgrounds of different sorts are routed to buses, which are then routed to background buses. Your instrumentation is going to be bussed out and whatnot. You're kicking your 808 to go into a bus. 
all the rest of the drums are going to another bus. You have melodies going to something, and they're going to the instrumental bus, and the instrumental bus is going to the master bus, so on and so forth. F9 is that stability you need to get the song from 50% to 110. Next, we're going to hit F10. F10 is for your MIDI input. When we hear MIDI, this is about... Uh, converting velocity and signal from an external machine into the computer as some kind of note with the value, a certain level of intensity, and we can use that when we're making instrumentation in music. Think of one and zero, right? Think of the one as the signal going into the zero. Kind of like this. We have the zero, we have the one. Yeah, one and zero. <laughs> now we're gonna hit F11. F11, it's two ones, right? It's two ones. Imagine these two ones as two different people. This is a communication. It's a conversation. Whatever you want to communicate to the other person who's going to be seeing the project or even yourself in the future when you're looking at this, you're going to do it at F11. This is your project credits. The title, metadata will be baked into, their, uh, into the final export that you do. The author will be baked in. The comments, you can set those to show up as you open the project. But this is really useful for metadata. And on the bottom, you can see you have the option of adding in a web link. And you have a slew of different pieces of information about your project, such as when it was started. You have the year. You have the time specifically, the total time spent on the song, the amount of plugins, mixer track states, you know, everything, your notes, clips, all that. That's useful information if you're into um, tracking what you're doing to know if you went overboard if your computer's crashing, if you're, you know, specifically uh, using less instrumentation with intention, this is also a good metric. There's a million reasons, but those are just two good ones. And finally, we're going to hit the last key, and that's F12. F12 is the last button. It's really the last button. So when we think of the end, we're going to get dramatic because I need you to remember these uh, different keys. I want you to think the end of the world. I want you to think nuclear holocaust. F12 is a digital bomb. It closes all of your windows. That's F12's function. You can press F12 again, it's not a toggle. Once you press that, all the windows are closed. But fortunately, we have PCP. Five, six, seven, those are back. Yeah, just to run through them again, F1, this is your first and last tool for help. This is the online help button. Ooh. Never mind that. I was looking at a Travis Scott video from back in the day, up echelon. Anyway, F2, name and rename. F3, your shortcut, but you could also, if you have a mouse, hit the scroll button, left or right click to activate that anywhere in your playlist. All right? F4, create a new pattern. 567 PCP5 playlist, six, channel rack, seven, your piano roll, F8 for all plugins, F9 for your mixer toggle, which you definitely need, F10, MIDI, F11, project credits, and F12, the nuke button, close all windows. If you like this video, please like, share, subscribe, let me know if you like this 360 format. I'm going to be doing more tutorials on a bunch of topics in FL Studio. If there's something that you want to learn in particular, say it in the comments, DM me, somehow get it to me, and yeah, I'll make something about it. Without further ado, this video is adjourned. Minasan, arigatou gozaimashita. Laters.